Amen. How many times have you entered the same password on multiple different sites? I've done it. Well, what happens when a password breach happens at another site? You might not get a notice that your password has been compromised. A malicious actor could take that password and try it on every site's REST endpoint for logins. They could try it in your app. This type of attack is known as credential stuffing and can be done with a network of bots to try passwords on multiple sites. What should we do about this to protect our users? The following are suggestions for what may help prevent these types of attacks. You should consult with your own security team to validate the risks and benefits of the proposed solutions. Existing protections within Firebase Authentication already limit how many requests can be made from a device before blocking additional requests. For instance, there's a limit to how many times I could try to log in in a row with an incorrect password for a user account. This can prevent me from trying every password I know, as I will likely be rate limited for suspicious activity. But what about the credential stuffing attack that we talked about earlier? In the credential stuffing attack, there would just be one password per account and would not trigger this limit. We are working on integrating Recaptcha Enterprise Account Defender to help add even more layers of security to the already existing protections offered by Firebase Authentication. But what can we do today? Fortunately, Firebase AppCheck may help. As a quick reminder, Firebase AppCheck is a service that relies on attestation providers to help attest that the app is an authentic, untampered app, and for mobile devices, that the device is authentic. It is a cross-platform solution that allows multiple attestation providers to use a single validation method on the same endpoint. Out of the box, AppCheck supports Play Integrity for Android, Device Check and App Attest for iOS, and Recapture Enterprise for web. If you're using a different attestation provider, you can write a custom provider to allow them to be used as well with the AppCheck service. To use Firebase AppCheck, first configure your project to use your preferred attestation provider. There's documentation linked in the description below to help with the configuration. Once configured, we can monitor our application use through the Firebase console. And when we are ready to start enforcing attestation, we can click the Enforce button. For new apps, you can start enforcing right from the beginning. Remember, you'll need to enforce AppCheck on each specific service that you wish to be protected by AppCheck. In our case, we'll want to enforce AppCheck on the authentication endpoints. With that, when requests come into our authentication endpoints, we can readily block them unless they contain a valid AppCheck token. This may help limit credential stuffing attacks since a malicious actor may have their bot's effectiveness limited by the additional protections required by the API endpoints. There you have it. Having Firebase AppCheck enforced on your authentication endpoints can help protect you from credential stuffing attacks performed by a bot network. If you want to learn more about the Firebase platform and specifically AppCheck, visit the links in the description below. I am Noe, reminding you to enforce AppCheck. See you next time.